was younger, I used to play the violin. My my younger brother practiced the violin too. That's awesome. Yay, you're musically gifted. So today's lesson, um, we're going to be talking about the environment, okay? Okay. All right, so my first question is, what do you see in the picture? Using full sentences, um, full sentences, please tell me three things that you see. There are many trash in the ocean. Okay, that's one sentence. I want three sentences. And I s and the boat makes up uh, make oil. So the boat the boat has a oil spill. Yes, the boat has a oil spill. spill. Okay. And one more one more second. There are dirty water in the ocean. Very good. Perfect. Three pretty good sentences. So today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the environment. And we're going to be learning about two children who make a big difference. Okay. Okay. So let's first do some vocabulary. All right. So use the pictures and the sentences, and I want you to try and figure out what the word means. So it's the acronym. Caretakers. Hmm? Caretakers. Care. Caretakers. Care, caretakers. Awesome. Can you read this sentence from here? The caretakers at the zoo feed the penguins every day. Perfect. What do you think caretakers are? Someone feed the penguins and take care of the penguins. Alright, so if I delete penguins, what do you think caretakers are? They take care of the animals. If I delete the zoo, <laughs> what do you think caretakers are? They take care of anything. Yes, perfect. So caretakers are someone who um, takes care of someone or something. Okay? okay. So my first question is, who are your caretakers? My dad and my mom. Perfect. All right. Now, do you have any pets? Huh? Yes, I have. Yeah. I have a turtle. Okay. And are you your your turtle caretaker? Yes. Or do you share the responsibility? I share my responsibility with my mom and my little brother. Perfect. <laughs> I have a turtle too, but my mom takes care of my turtle. Okay. <laughs> so it's her turtle. I've had it a long time. My turtle is 15 years old. My turtle is or about 6 years old. They live a long time, so you're going to be taking care of your turtle for a long time. Right. <laughs> Can you use caretakers or caretaker in a sentence first? Okay. My mom and my dad is my caretakers. My mom and my dad are, are my, my caretakers. caretakers. Very good. Is is for one person, R is for two different people, okay? Okay. Alright, perfect. Alright, next word. Population. 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 Perfect. Can you please read the sentence for me? There is a large population, populations of 
flamingos, flamingos living in a pond. Perfect. Your pronunciation and the sounding this out was perfect. So there was a large population of flamingos living in the pond. Okay. So my question for you is tell me something using the same structure and just changing those two words that there's a large population of. There is a large population of birds living in a tree. Okay. You mean a different animal? Give me a different animal. Yes. Give me a different animal or different people. Okay. There is a large There's a large population of ants living in the uh, living in my house. Oh no! You have a large population of ants living in your house. Okay, then there can also be a large population of people living in the city. Okay. Okay. Or country. Okay. All right. Next word. Relatives. 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 Okay. Relatives. Relatives. Can you say the sentence for me, please? Or read the sentence for me, please? Okay. We invited friends at rele and and relevant. <laughs> we invited. Friends and relatives to our picnic. Very good. So I'm going to help you out with this one, but I'm going to give you a clue. So what do you think relatives are? My cousin and my aunt and my uncle. Perfect. So they are family, but not your immediate family. So not your mom, not your dad, not your brother. Okay. okay. So everyone else is family. So who's your favorite relative and why? My aunt. My aunt. And why? The so full sentence, my aunt is my favorite relative because... Okay. My aunt is my favorite relative because... Okay. He teach me a lot. She teaches me a lot. Yes. Okay. Good job. All right. All right. So we're going to read, how can people help animals survive? How can we have two children help? Oh, go on. How can, how can people help animals survive? Read how two children helped sea turtles survive on all your spell. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay. What a mess. There was dark, gooey oil everywhere. It slid, slid across the water. It coated rocks and sand. It made it made some swimming hard for shark and dolphins. The oil spilled in the roof of Mexico was making animals sick and helpless. Alright, let me see these two words for you. Okay? First one is gooey. 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 Gooey means sticky. Okay. Like sticky and 
oily, like like slime with oil added to it. Okay. And this is gold. Huh? Gold. Gold. Yeah, not gold. Mm -hmm. Not gold, but gold. Oh, gold. 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 Okay, the gold of Mexico. The gold of Mexico. Very good. Two kids from a small town in Georgia. Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Georgia. Two kids from a small town in Georgia watch the news. They saw pictures of sea turtles coated with oil. They watched an animals struggle, struggle to move. As a result, they decided it was time to do something. The animals in the grove needed to two superheroes to have left. Very good. Alright, this one here. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. This one here is struggle. Struggle. Yeah. So struggle means to do something difficult. Having a hard time to do something. Okay. Alright, so what is something you may struggle at that you have um but yeah, what is something you may struggle at? Like you have a difficult time doing. I am struggle. I will struggle to Struggle to play the piano. Mm, very good. I struggle with new music <laughs> that I have to learn. Very good. All right. Oh, Olivia and Carter to the rescue. Meet Olivia and Carter Reese. They start a group that works to save animals. Olivia was seven years old, and Carter, her brother, was eight and a half. They named their group One More Generation. They want animals to be around for kids in the future. All right, let me do this one. Generation. Generation. Okay. Perfect. Alright, my first question is how old are they and what did they name their group? Olivia is seven years old. Carter is eight and a half. And they named their group one more gener generation. Generation. Very good. Olivia and Carter believe anyone can make a difference. They are sending an important message. Their messenger is everyone can help animals. Their messenger or message? Message. Okay, their message is that everyone can help animals. Alright. And then Olivia and Carter Rise learn how oil harms health while turtles. So this person is explaining what happened, okay? Okay. O Olivia and Carter watched oil spread for miles across the um, Gulf. More and more animals were getting sick. The camps right Brightly turtle was one of them. There are only a few thousand left in the world. There are endangered and their pop pop population.
solution is getting smaller and smaller. The oil three tend to bring their homes and their habit. Their habit. Right. Endangered means something that is threatened or it might die or no longer exist. Okay. Or something that is in trouble. Okay? Okay. Threatened. What is the threatened? Okay, so question number one, what do, 
Is there any seafood you like to eat? Or what is your favorite seafood dish? I love the squid. Mm -hmm. Is it dried squid or is it regular squid? Dried squid. And, and, and spoiled. Let's use, a, let's use spoiled in a sentence. Okay? What food spoils quickly? So what food goes bad quickly? Fruit? Fruit spoils very quickly, yes. And another way to say spoiled outside of food is when something gets ruined, okay? So what might spoil your day? What might make your day go bad? Um, I don't have my playtime. So full sentence. If I don't have my playtime. If I don't have my playtime. It will spoil that will spoil my day. That will yeah. spoil my day. Okay. Okay. Right. I love how you use spoil the two ways. Okay. All right. Olivia and Carter recognized how big the problem was. The turtles needed help. First, they made a through uh, for play.
So that's sequencing, getting the order of things in, in perfect sequence. All right, so the, the kids are from Fayetteville, Georgia. And with their parents, they drove down to New Orleans. And this is in the United States. What country are you from? I am from the United States. I'm originally from New York. I'm from Taiwan. Is is next to China. Okay. I've been to Taiwan. I went there and I had some curry. <laughs> Very pretty city. I was in um I think I was in Taipei. I live in Taipei too. Very, very tall building. Yes. But I went there and it was a bad season. I went during uh, monsoon season. It was raining all the time. Okay. Olivia and Carter collect supplies for four months. Surprise for four months. They wrote with their parents to New Orleans. They carried the surprise with them. <coughs> then the kids watched caretakers clean hundreds of sea turtles. With the help of many people, the turtles were soon supported. Yes. Olivia and Carter's plan worked if it was a huge success.
and we're back. Had a good break? Yes, I eat some I ate some snack. Or I ate some snacks, or I ate a snack. I ate a snack. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's read. Making connections. Okay, we're making connections. Alright. Okay. Essential question. Describe the steps that Olivia and Carter took to help the Camp Riley turtles. So what did they do to help the turtles? less trash to clean the ocean. Okay, but that's a lot of work. So how do we clean the ocean? Um, go to a 
rescue animal team. Okay. So go help help out at a rescue animal team. And here are some other ways as well. Protect Can you read these ways for me as well? Protect animals nest. Pick up trash at the parks and wild places. Keep water clean. Stop using plastic bags. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to show you a video about two very, 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 very smart students. Um, Olivia and Carter to show you what they look like. Okay? Okay. And then I'm going to pause the video and ask you some questions about it as well. Okay. okay.
And in total, that's 128 schools that can just get the plastic straw off me. But I also hope this inspires kids to stop using plastic straws outside of school. So there are two ways that environment kids can help the environment, specifically around oceans. All of our products are certified organic. And the issue with chemical fertilizers and pesticides is that when it rains, those chemicals go into our waterways and go into the ocean, creating toxic environments for ocean animals. We've been partnering with an organization called Sea Turtles International, and they have a wonderful campaign called One Billion Baby Turtles, and they're working to ensure that these young hatching turtles get out into the ocean and live their lives. Our 11-year-olds were at boot camp this weekend. We'll graduate high school in the year 2025, when the UN predicts that there will be one ton of plastic for every three tons of fish. They're not going to stand for that. We realize that plastic packaging is an issue for oceans and ocean pollution. So what we are committed to doing is to have all of our packaging reusable, recyclable, or compostable by 2025. Time is now to fight for what we love. We ask you to use your voice to make a change. Help us make a better future. It feels really cool to make a change because you feel like you're in charge and you feel like you're doing something. People will sometimes say, oh, you're just a kid. You can't really persuade anyone. But you can actually do so much more than you can. You can persuade people. You can change people's habits. You can change people's behaviors. In general, you can change the world. All right. So tell me four things you learned about this from this video. It can be vocabulary. It can be information. So give me four items that you learned. Don't use uh, plastic straws. One. Three more. You can change uh, anyone's habit and behavior. You can change animals' habits and uh, behavior? Everyone. <laughs> Oh, so everyone can change their habits and their behavior. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's two. One more. You can One more. go to clean the beach. All right, that's three. One more. Um, okay. You can join a cleaning team. Very good. That was very good. All right, so let me stop sharing. Okay. Here. Point. All right, and let us expand out. you can help the ocean. So the first thing which you told me, which was true, so let's finish it. I want you to read this bubble. Plastis can... Wait, wait, read the title. You gotta read the title. Oh. How you can help the ocean. Use okay. fewer plastic production. Wait, well, well, product. Oh, pro products. Clean the ocean. Safe water. Eat sustain sustainable. Sustainable. Use. Very good. Use. Sustain. Sustain, sustain, uh, ugly, ugly, sustain, ugly. Use very good. Use e uh, use eco friendly product. Very good. So, using plastic products. Read this section here now. 
Fast takes Read that part. Fast items. Keep in mind where all of the products end up once they go down the drain. drain. Very good. So making sure that all the stuff that you buy is environmentally safe since it's going to go in the water. Okay. You did really good today. You, your vocabulary is very strong and you're very good at sounding out new words. Very strong reader. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, that concludes today's class. Thank you so much and have a good evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy piano and cello. Okay.